Hello. Uh, we got to do some minimum, maximum pro word problems. Everybody's favorite. Everybody loves quadratic word problems. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. So let's get into it. You should take some notes. I say that all the time, but you should definitely be taking some notes because I know, I know what I'm doing. I don't know if you know what you're doing. Okay, so you launch a bottle rocket into the air from 80 feet. An equation modeling the height of the rocket is h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 64 t plus 80, where t is time and h is height. What is the maximum height of the rocket and how long did it take to get there? Okay, so the maximum height, anytime you hear that and you're talking about quadratic, we're talking about that vertex, okay? So you see this little cutie patootie picture that I drew here, okay? And the little pink dot represents the maximum height, right? So we're gonna put a little, you know, X, Y axis on the little screen. That is my maximum height. And then the, um, oh, why'd I go so quick? That represented the time. Anyway, so when maximum equals vertex, so negative b over 2a, right? So we're going to plug in negative 64 over 2 times negative 16 because a is 16, b is 64. I'm going to simplify. Negative 64 over negative 32, I'm going to get 2. Once I get that 2, we plug it in. Instead of t, we're going to see 2. We're gonna simplify by using PANDAS and we're gonna get 144. So this question asks us two things. It asks us what is the maximum height of the rocket and how long did it take to get there? So out of those two answers, we got a two and a 144. Which one do you think represents the height? The 144, right? And which one do you th think represents the time? The two, two seconds, okay? So a two comma 144. We will always say that the maximum height was 144 feet and it took two seconds to get there. That's how you do that problem. It's really just a vertex problem. I know there's a lot of words going on here, but that's it in a nutshell. Find the vertex, interpret it. The X value, the two is the time, because remember on the X axis, that's where we represent the time. Um, and then the other is the is gonna be your, your height, okay? All right. Second example, you jump off a cliff from 382 feet. An equation modeling your height is h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 32t plus 382, where t is time and h is height. What is the maximum height of your jump? And how long did it take you to get that high? So look at our wonderful picture. You on your little clip? Look at me drawing, drawing. <laughs> we have an x-axis and a y-axis. The y-axis is vertical, the x-axis is horizontal. So that point at the top, that's our maximum height. That's what we're trying to find out. That is a vertex. And then the x-axis represents my time. That's what we're visualizing. So anytime you see the word maximum, that means vertex. So negative b over 2a. So negative 32 over Two times negative 16 so negative 32 over negative 32 x or t equals 1 I take that one I plug it in to the original equation I do PEMDAS so that means exponents first multiplication second addition and subtraction from left to right okay so you see the 398 1 comma 398 so we just have to go ahead and interpret that right so maximum height is 398 feet and it took one second to get there. That's it. Those problems are not hard. They just look hard, guys. That's it. That is it in a nutshell. The, mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, go back to the video. See if you can do the problems without my help. There's only two of them. And... um. Tell your mom, tell your auntie, tell your dad, sisters, friends, mom, and like, subscribe, comment. Tell them that you found a YouTube channel where the teacher's not dry. Have a wonderful day, guys. See you in the next one.